Hey, plant fam! Did you miss me? It's okay if you didn't. It's been an entire week. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I missed you. And if you're new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And today we're going to Rosedale, my favorite local nursery. We're going to look at all the plants. We're not skipping any. We're talking about them. It's going to take a while, but let me tell you how beautiful this greenhouse is. I don't have to tell you. Just keep watching. Okay, here we are at my favorite local nursery. I actually filmed this a few days ago, and the audio sounded like complete and utter garbage. So, here I am, showing you Rosedale. I'm watching this with you as I do a voiceover because, yeah, you can't hear anything I'm saying. Look at this fiddle leaf. I think it's $45.95. Very cute. Got an Aglionema Maria, I believe this one is called. I may not be able to see all of the prices. $19.95. That's a good price for that size. Mine is really, really small. It has like four leaves. It's kind of, kind of depressing. Mm -hmm. I think this is a Dracaena. $75.95 for that. I cannot remember what these are called for the life of me. Some sort of Kalinkoe. I don't know. They're pretty though. Over here, we have this beautiful, beautiful stunning Monstera that I'm obsessed with in a terracotta pot for $49.95. I don't think that's a bad price considering it's in a terracotta pot. This Croton is $45.95, also in a terracotta, although I do believe that you can get a better deal at a big box store. Just might not be as healthy. Here we have Sansevieria. This is me getting excited about what I believe is a black coral Sansevieria. It's just labeled as snake plant. I think that says $35.95. That's the black gold that I have at home with some cute little babies. I don't know what the price is. <laughs> this one I think is just a Xylanica. Silenica for $19.95. I don't know how to say that. I wish this black coral was in a smaller pot because I definitely would have gotten it. Over here, I am witnessing the largest Maranta leaf I've ever seen in my life. I mean, seriously, look at how big it is. Is it even real? Mine are that small that I have at home. I think this is only $7.95 for this giant Maranta leaf. How cool is that? And we have some little Schifflera trees in terracotta pot for $9.95. It's a good price for that cutie. Super cute. There's also a bigger size for $16.95. If I had room for one, I would definitely take one home. This Calathea medallion is stunning with this leaf unfurling. I love how purple it is for $12.95. That stunning leaf. Don't drink every time I say something is stunning or cute. Somebody get me a thesaurus. It's slightly bigger medallion. I didn't see the price on that one. I think it was like $12.95 or something if I'm not mistaken. Some Stromanthi Trio Star here. Can't see the price, but probably around the same price as the Calathea. You could see that. <laughs> I did it so fast. I'm afraid of these because I feel like they're just going to get crispy brown edges. This is a great size for my space, but I'm just still trying to keep my Calathea Orbifolia alive. This is a cute little, I think it's some kind of ficus, yeah, Benjamina, super cute for, I don't know what that said, $9.95, I think. Cute little variegation on the leaves. Love it. 
if I had room for a tree. Guys, if I had room for the plants, I would get all of them. It's another Benjamina in a darker color. A Neon Pothos. Another Stromanthe, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. No idea what that price just said. $21.95. I, I believe it's a Stromanthe. They look similar. This is a Calathea Makoyana. I have one of these at home. This is also $21.95. Some Golden Pothos. Something I think is called a Money Tree. Then we have this Philodendron Imperial Red. This beautiful leaf unfurling. I love the color that they are when they unfurl. I have a smaller version of this at home that I purchased from here. And this one is $16.95. And then we have a Philodendron. I call it a Moonlight. I don't know what that says. If you know what that says, let me know. This one is... I don't know what that said. I'm <laughs> sorry, $19.95 maybe. This is a big one. Wow. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Philodendron Congo Rojo is a cross between the Imperial Red that you're seeing here and another Philodendron. Quite possibly the Moonlight. Which is what I'm saying right here. <laughs> I love philodendron though. Ooh, look at the cute little leaf. And we have some philodendron scandins here. Some Brazil. Don't know what the price is on that. But they're usually very fairly priced here. Anthurium. This super cool looking leaf. Or I don't know if that's a flower. Part of the flower honestly. This pothos is super cool check out the roots literally growing into that piece of wood struggling to find the price 1995 pretty cool the way that it just clings to the wood like that pothos love to climb they're epiphytic their leaves will continue to get larger at the top as they grow which is what I'm saying here and they'll stay tiny at the bottom if you let them trail really good starter plant right there though and then we have I think these are called fire sticks honestly I don't know but they they look kind of cool and creepy I don't know what the price is on that if you could see it it's really small on my screen right now. I apologize. I hit my head on this plant. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But it peed on me. <laughs> Sago palm over here. Um, some hanging ivy. That looked really cool, honestly. I am afraid of ivy. I've ha I had one. And it got spider mites. And I've just been kind of turned off to ivy ever since this is some kind of fern boston fern asparagus fern honestly i get them confused no idea what kind of fern this is but it looks like a dinosaur and i dig it i seriously dig it also have no idea what this is called i think it was bridal veil or is this no this is bridal veil got these really cool little purple leaves in it some begonia rex some more uh, neon pothos $17.95 for the mystery plant that peed on me the staghorn fern is so cool in this little wooden hanging thing honestly I can't see the price, but hopefully you can. There's some orchids back there. And then we have, I think these are like creeping figs. I was laughing at myself because I wanted to say paella, pel something, 
Pelea rotundifolia. Yeah, probably butchered that. We're going to go with paella for nine ninety five. <laughs> Oh goodness, some blue star ferns here. I have one of these at home, seventeen ninety five. We're just still trying to keep her alive. I really like the look of ferns, but we're we're taking it slow. This is the mystery plant again that was hanging. I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, let a girl know. It was pretty. I always like to know. This is some type of lace fern I'm familiar with it as but I don't I don't know what that label said 995 for that more mystery plant oh sad little heart leaf fern I had one of these and it didn't do so well but I am a big fan of the heart leaf anything and the blue anything too which is why i like the blue star fern this one's cool 9.95 is this a staghorn it's like kind of fuzzy i can never tell the difference between some of these ferns to be completely honest with you but i love the very like jurassic feel of ferns they make me feel like I'm in a jungle with dinosaurs, and now I'm telling you about how these fuzzy little root things freak me out. <laughs> that I can start seeing them in my fern, and they're totally, totally freaking me out. Cute little curly, curly-haired fern here. And then some gardenias, I believe. I'm trying to get better with flower names. I'm not the best. $24.95. I still think that they look pretty when they're not flowering, though, and that's always a plus. We've got more English ivy here, I think is what it's called. Some variegated, some non-variegated. This looks like my blue star fern, but green for $14.95, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that before. And look at that creepy little root. So so weird more ferns that i don't know the name of just labeled as fern 995 some lone cyclamen here super underrated house plant a boston fern here i am discovering that this is called a boston fern and trying to desperately remember the difference between a Boston fern and an asparagus fern. Some beautiful orchids. I've never had an orchid, but I do love to look at orchids. I think that said 41. All the orchids were 50% off. I got pretty excited about it because they had this cute little baby one for like $19.95, I believe. How stinking cute is that? I was seriously considering getting this because it was just cute and only $10 and yeah, I mean, who wouldn't want that? It's adorable. And then we have this giant pothos that I was totally in awe of how long it is. Honestly, if I had space... Again, I'm like repeating myself over and over because if I had space for these plants, I would buy so many of them. Look at how long it is. I mean, I have one and I can be patient and wait for it to grow this long. But also, if I had the space, I think it was like 1995 for this basket too, which isn't bad for how long it is. I digress. If I had the space already to hang this somewhere, I totally would. This orchid is stunning. Look at the details, honestly. Still staring at that cute little one. Begging you guys to help me make a decision, even though you were not there. Mystery basket that's been here for quite some time. I, I don't know what it is. I think we might discover what some of it is later on. 
And then this is what I believe is called a ruby necklace. I don't know. It's super cute. It's got like these purple pieces to it. <laughs> the stems, I guess, are purple. Here's another one. You can see it better. I'm afraid to have plants like this because I struggle with my string of bananas and string of pearls. So cute little bloom. So I wouldn't want to kill something so beautiful. $24.95, I believe it said for this hanging basket. Very, very cute. Over here we have a Thanksgiving cactus. And then a lipstick plant. I have a mini variegated lipstick plant at home. This one's very lush and cute for $25.95, did that say? Not sure. I am so obsessed with this place. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh, and my favorite, a Hoya. This is a Hoya Crimson Queen. Very happy, healthy for $17.95 in this little hanging basket. This is where I got my first Hoya, also a Crimson Queen. And you know I love her. I have no idea. Oh, this is that ivy that's hanging in the mystery basket. That's what it is. I didn't read the name of it, though, of course. Some more ivy. Spider plant, that freaks me out. Begonia, that freaked me out, too. Another lipstick plant. And we've got some creeping figs here. $7.95. Some cute little Fetonias for $6.95. This cute little Pothos for $7.95. That's uh, Pearls and Jade. I have no idea what this is. It's adorable. $7.95. I love the little baby leaves, but bushy plants like this freak me out because I feel like bugs just like hide in there. I like to be able to see the soil. We have some bonsai arrangements here with a little palm. Super cute. $65.95. This one's like $110, I believe. Look at those thick thighs, though. Ooh, girl. She's been working out. <laughs> I have no idea what this adorable little poof is, but it looks like it should be in a Dr. Seuss movie, and it's adorable. $39.95. Please let me know what this is, because it's so stinking cute. Some amaryllis back there. More Dr. Seuss poofs. This tag that really doesn't tell me anything besides myrtle. I don't know what that means. Myrtus communis. Yep, butchered that. We're going to go with Dr. Seuss poof. More ivy. Something else cute and tiny that terrifies me. $9.95. I don't know what it is. I just feel like bugs like plants like that. Some oxalis, some green oxalis for $4.95. I'm totally obsessed with the shape of these plants. I have a purple one. More of this mystery plant that I can't remember the name of for $4.95. Super common. Still can't remember the name. Good job, Jackie. Then we've got some peperomia here for $7.95. I don't know this variety exactly, but I love the texture of the leaves. I get them confused with pilea. I wanted to call this a pilea, but it's labeled peperomia. I believe it's the same price as the other one. $17.95 for this one. I like the color. It's really cool. Another philodendron. Some cute little baby ZZs. Don't know what that price said. $19.95. Look at this adorable little baby one. $12.95. If this was a raven, honestly, that's the perfect size. I just don't have room for 
a green one, and I'm really trying to hold out for a raven. Some more oxalis. So stinking cute. This is the one I have at home. It's more of like a wine color. This cute little purple variegation in the middle for $4.95. Only $4.95. I probably should have got another one because look at this one. Why didn't I buy you? You're stunning. I'm Purple is my favorite color and I'm totally obsessed with the shape of this. This is $7.95. I might have to go back and get one. I've been thinking about it ever since because it is... I'm comparing now it's a different color purple I have to justify it somehow in my head ah <laughs> they're so pretty another little baby oxalis with some pink for $7.95 super super cute some peperomia obtusifolia I love it when it's already in a terracotta this one is only $9.95 for this variegated obtusifolia. We have just a plain green one. Another variety I can never remember the name of. I think it starts with a C. This one's only $4.95 for this little pot of it. And then we have just a regular Peperomia obtusifolia green it's labeled as, but if you notice this actually has burgundy edges. It's labeled as green, but compared to the one next to it that's also labeled green, it looks different, which I'm going to show you in a second. And see how it has burgundy edges and this one doesn't. I saw somebody call the one with burgundy edges a Ginny, and I just was wondering if that was accurate. If anybody knows, because I have no idea. I think this is a Peperomia Pixie. $4.95. Super, super stinking cute. Don't know why I didn't get one of those. Probably because I'm trying to not buy plants right now. I honestly do not have room for more plants, but this is a cute little Fetonia for $5.95. I've got the pink one at home, so... I don't really need one. I am looking for some terrarium plants, though, if anybody has any suggestions. I'm thinking about maybe a little Hypoestes polka dot plant. Check out this Kalanchoe. It's huge. But yeah, um, I'm also thinking about trimming one of my Peperomia and sticking it in the terrarium as well. I'm looking for something more vertical to put in there if anybody has any suggestions. Just checking out these Kalanchoe now. We've got more Thanksgiving cactus, Christmas cactus, whatever you want to call it. We've got this cool aloe hedgehog. Never seen one of these before. $12.95. It's pretty cool looking. A larger size. In bloom. Very cool. This Echeveria. Putting out babes like crazy. The plant was hitting me in the head, obviously. What else is new? There's always, always plants in my hair. Everywhere I go. Zecaveria is $27.95. It's got so many babies. I'm trying to help it right now dump out some of the water. Because succulents don't like to actually sit with water on their leaves. Like this Pearl Vaughn here. I'm trying to help it out. Get some of the water off of those leaves there so they don't rot. This is one of my favorite, favorite succulents. Some more Kalanchoe back here. The fuzzy one. And the terracotta pot for $9.95. That's a really good price for that, actually. Another Kalanchoe. Lots of beautiful Echeveria. This one is in bloom, and it's honestly so stunning. Look at how pink. And then it's got these little yellow flowers that are ready to come out. Some cacti. I 
And here we have more Sansevieria. This is the Sansevieria cylindrica. I was just here a few days ago with a friend of mine helping him pick out some plants for his office, or a plant for his office rather, and that is the one that he picked. I may have kind of pushed him towards it a little bit, but I'm glad that he liked it and ultimately chose it. There was some ripple jade there. We got some topsy-turvy, I think it's called, echeveria in the back there. Some really cute, healthy succulents always in this place. Always appreciate their selection. They have some cute arrangements, too, here with a little peperomia in it. Some echeveria for $65.95 in a terracotta pot. A little sedum firestorm in the back there. That was actually my favorite, not my favorite, my first succulent. Still one of my favorites, though. Very hard to kill. Very, very hardy. If you want one, that's hard to kill and will grow and put out lots of babies for you. I highly recommend any sedum, but I do have a soft spot for the firestorm. For here we have these cute little baby succulents in these little, I think they're two inch pots for $5.95. I actually picked up a little pickle cactus the last time I was here and it was the same price, $5.95. They don't have any left, but I'm pretty happy about it. This Topsy Turvy is $7.95. Also, if you know the botanical name for the pickle cactus, I can show you guys at the end of this video which one I bought. I tried to Google it, and literally what came up was pickled cactus. Did you know that you could pickle cactus and eat it? Because apparently that's a thing. This one is super cute. No idea what it's called, but... Balloon cactus very cute so yeah apparently you can pickle cactus but i was just trying to find the name of my pickle cactus i think this is a mother of thousands mother of millions i have no idea it looks like it wants to put out babies on its leaves for 17.95 for this big pot and yeah i mean Got some begonias over here. This is a begonia princess of Hanover. This is the swirly one that I actually have at home. Princess of Hanover. Very cool. $12.95. Didn't know that was the name. Here's another begonia rex fedor. That one's cool. I like the texture and the color of that one. This is a red tango. Ooh, fancy. I see these ones a lot. Another fedor. I really like those leaves. And then this one is a begonia rex salsa. Now this one is super, super cool. This I've never seen in person. It's stunning. I love the colors. I love the pattern on the leaves. It's only $12.95, and honestly, if I was a begonia person, I totally 110% would have picked that up. Another Aglionema Maria. Cute little... I love new growth. There's something about it that just gets me so excited. I can't read the price on that, but I'm sure it was less than $20. Here is a Ficus Elastica baby rubber tree or just a regular rubber tree because apparently peperomia obtusifolia is also re referred to as a baby rubber tree i'm just saying that's literally a baby rubber tree if that makes sense anyway here's a dracaena kiwi for 17.95 i love 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 the color of this one and i'm not really a huge dracaena person We've got more little baby ficus trees, $9.95. I think these are the ruby, the variegated ones, in a terracotta pot. Fantastic price, in my opinion. 
looking at the pothos on a stick again because I'm just fascinated by how these roots cling to the wood. Very cool. The variegation on these are fantastic. Mine's not doing well, though. Ficus elastica ruby. Yes, I was right. I have the, the darker version one, and it's not really doing so great. $21.95 for that peace lily. The syngonium is $17.95. Syngoniums are growing on me. Slowly. And we're just checking out the Sansevieria one more time, which apparently, did you know, they've been recategorized and are no longer considered Sansevieria. Apparently, they're in the Dracaena family. I don't like it. I'm just going to say that and leave it at that. <laughs> I don't like it, and I'm still going to call them Sansevieria. This new Monstera leaf is stunning. Mine do not look this good. Send help. Please tell me why my Monstera is not this happy. Because I bought it here and it was perfectly happy. I think it needs new soil. I'm not 100% sure. This one is $35.95. Not in a terracotta. So the one in terracotta for the same size was closer to $50, I think. So... You have options. Beautiful leaf unfurling on this, I think, Silver Bay Aglionema for $19.95. Aglionema and Diefenbachia start to look similar to me as they get bigger. Like this one. This Is this a Diefenbachia? I, I get the two confused as they get bigger, to be honest. But I love the pattern on these leaves in a terracotta. Not exactly sure what the price is. This bird of paradise has seen better days, but she is still stunning. I mean, look at how big that leaf is. We can't all be perfect, you know? Can't expect our plants to be perfect. This is $75.95. Another ZZ, a bigger one. I think that said $27. They usually have some pretty good prices here compared to big box stores and the plants here are usually a lot healthier and happier so even if it is a little bit more expensive it's definitely worth it. Some spider plants that I'm checking out the name of Oceana I believe this one is called which is a really pretty name for a plant that I don't actually like. Chlorophytum something. I never knew the botanical name for a spider plant, so I was just kind of fascinated to learn that. And considering getting this salsa begonia, I love the name of it, honestly. I love salsa. Struggling to leave this oxalis behind as well. I didn't buy anything this day, you guys. And then I'm going to check out this orchid that I also did not buy. I'm trying really hard not to buy plants, but look at how stinking cute it is. Ugh. Like, am I even ready for an orchid? What do I do with an orchid? Look at the tiny little terracotta pot. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. I should probably go back and get it. I have problems. Okay, so that was it for the main greenhouse, but over here we also have some little Pilea pepper meoides for, does that say $6.95? I don't know. I killed mine, so I struggle with that one for some reason. We've got this window full of cacti. Let's go check it out. How stinking cute is this place, by the way? I love it here got a euphorbia very cool looking euphorbia I can't see the price but I have this one at home a little baby version I am waiting for it to put out these little things 
I don't know what they're called, but they're pretty cute. Got some aloe in the window, more euphorbia. I think this is a euphorbia too, if I'm not mistaken. The way it grows those little things on the outside of it. Honestly, not 100% sure. Little air plant, some more aloe. And I think that's it. This lone air plant here. But yeah, that's it for this spot. So here's just an overview of my favorite place in the whole entire world. This greenhouse is literally what plant dreams are made of. And I can't handle it. I can't handle this giant Maranta leaf either. I had to take a second look at it and appreciate it. And all of the stunning plants that are in this place, honestly, it blows my mind every single time. So on my way out here, I saw some cute little succulents too in these little pots for $7.95. Some more orchids, so if I change my mind and want to come back, there's more than one. I don't have to worry about it. I just don't know what to do with them when they're done blooming. Like, do you have to wait forever? This one's really cute. I like the chunky succulents. Some African violets down there. More Syngonium. Some Kalanchoe. Lots and lots of Cyclamen. And some Peace Lilies. More Orchids. Look at these colors, honestly. They remind me of, like, Sherbert. It, like, kind of makes me want some Sherbert. I don't think that that's vegan, though. <laughs> I can appreciate a beautiful flower. Just not as much as I appreciate some beautiful foliage. Look at that color. Ugh, it's, like, so springy. Makes me want to be in summer already. But, yeah. Got some more Anthurium here. Some Peperomia. $12.95. This Anthurium leaf is huge. Some more Oxalis over here. More Calathea. I love their setup. When you walk in, it's very pretty with all these different tables and such. And then they have this here as well. All the same plants that they have in the greenhouse. But it's very aesthetic, in my opinion. I like looking. Here we have this cute little blue star fern for $4.95. Some Trandiscantia little baby medallion. Oh my gosh, I was so tempted to get this one for $12.95. Could actually fit that in my space. I just don't have the humidity for another Calathea to stress about at all. And that is it, you guys. I had to show you Pickle Rick before we go. And he's so cute. Let me turn the camera around. So, here he is in all his glory. Pickle Rick's already growing since I brought him home. He's a little baby. $5.95. Love it. He lives here on the window with his cactus family. I need to do something with. But yeah, that is it. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a long one. If you made it to the end... Comment that you made it to the end. Like this video. You know, all that good stuff. Subscribe. <laughs>